Welcome to Behind the Design with the East Tennessee Community Design Center, where we showcase local talent to take a deep dive into all things design, history, community planning, and more. Stay tuned to learn something new. In our first installment, we explore the past, present, and future of the St. Mary's Medical Center. One of Knoxville citizens, Dan DeWine, he had an interesting life. He, he was an Irishman. He was born in the United States, but he was Irish through and through. And he became a police officer. And then later on, he uh, started a, uh, a tavern, a pub, uh, a bar, and uh, down in the old city. And in fact, he was partners with Patrick Sullivan at one point. He decided that he really wanted a sister's hospital here in Knoxville. At some point, it's not entirely clear, he purchased uh, Oak Hill, which uh, had on it a beautiful home, and uh, that was the site that the hospital was built. The Oak Hill area, which kind of overlooks looks First Creek along Broadway, um, was mainly a residential community before St. Mary's. Uh, there was some industry over to the uh, west of there, uh, Brookside Mill, and there was a sausage factory and a marble works and things like that. But but on the, uh, on the, that part of Broadway was mainly residential and some kind of substantial residential places. There was a, the, uh, a, a big mansion they called the Scott Mansion, which was on top of Oak Hill. Uh, and it was a, a kind of place that neighborhood kids would, were kind of fascinated with because it was a really old house and there were stories about being haunted and things like that. There was a, 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 a predominantly African-American area down below St. Mary's um, in a place they called Mucktown, which was along the the creek bed, uh, this area that often flooded about where the Kroger is now. The uh, mission of St. Mary's was to extend the healing ministry of Jesus by improving the health of our communities with an emphasis on people who were poor and underserved, and that was always a focus. Um, second, uh, I think they brought the state-of-the-art technology. It was a thoroughly modern hospital. Now. When we look at some of the pictures, we have to chuckle a little bit. Uh, in the surgery suite, the, the primary surgery suite had windows that opened because we all know that fresh air is good for everything. <laughs> but uh, now we would never think about doing something like that. But at the time, what they had was state of the art. We needed to invest in public safety, police and fire. Those are core local government functions. Uh, and we knew that an investment in that area made a lot of sense because of the closed hospital. That large facility is really difficult to redevelop. And so uh, that process, that initial investment, the public sector investment, is, has always been kind of driven forward at the local government level. Uh, the LMU piece, the educational piece with the nursing school and other educational uh, functions, that came in uh, once uh, the city committed to the site. We were approached by Lincoln Memorial and. Uh, our redevelopment agency worked with LMU for that investment in that tower, big beautiful tower building. Uh, and then we'll see what happens on the North Campus. That's that historic hospital in 1929, the hospital that's really been hidden. And now that we're demolishing buildings around it, uh, you can start to see what that campus originally looked like and the, really the beauty of that facade and that original 1929 building. We had a lot of people who have fond memories there, either, you know, having their children being born there or, or they themselves were born there, having loved ones that had been through the hospital uh, for you know a number of different things. And so you know we wanted to make sure that we preserved that history that we held on to some of the uh, the plaques and the memorials and the relics that were there uh, that are such an integral part of, of what St. Mary's is. And also just a preservation of the area itself and even just maintaining some of the trees that are there um, and making sure that we are true to what truly is St. Mary's. I think the overall impact of that area will be a revitalization in and around the, the Fulton High School area. An important thing to remember is that when it was a hospital, uh, almost all of the employees there, and certainly all the patients there, it was pretty insular and there weren't a lot of need uh, for services, particularly dining and those sorts of things. So I think as this new employee base comes in and the new student component from LMU comes in there, you'll see an uptick in the need for certain types of services, particularly food services, probably some student housing. St. Mary's has always been a major employer 
for that part of Knoxville and uh, to see reinvestment back in that area is, is really important for the strength of that community. Thanks for watching this episode of Behind the Design. Visit our website today to get involved with the Design Center. We'll see you next time.